Ik wil kom bij nou een baie, baie belangrijke vraag. He. Globalization. Nou, globalization is one of the buzzwords actually. Uh, in nowadays, die van jullie wat niet gehoord hebben van globalisering, ik is zeker, je kijkt niet nieuws, niet of lees niet couranten of wat ook al niet. Maar dat is bij belangrijk. Nou, globalisering, wanneer daar een vraag van globalisering gevraagd wordt, and this is very important that I'm telling you now, you can't only rely on the notes and the lessons that your teacher has given to you. Jij zal op datum moet wees van wat in die wereld aan gaan. Je zal gereeld nieuws moet kijken. Je zal gereeld couranten moet lezen. Tijdschriften moet leren. That you've got hands-on information of the latest things regarding globalization. Now, just let us uh, have a look at what can be examined regarding globalization. En ik kan jullie verzekeren, hier wat ons nou hier het, is precies wat die vraag gevraagd, die vraag wat gevraagd is. Zo, so, ik ga niet noodwendig stilstaan bij die vraag nie, maar ik ga ik ga hier vier dingetjes was gevraagd in die examen. The first thing that you must be able to do, if you look at your question paper, you must be able to define it. Jy moet kan sê, wat is, is globalisering? Now, people, I can ensure you that uh, when we mark this of a globalization, there are perhaps, every one of us can give a different uh, uh, definition of globalization. It is not nou net a kindige definitie wat hier belangrijk is. But when we look at this uh, 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 definition, you must at least include certain things. You must include things like interconnection, right, of social, economic, political, cultural activities across the world. If you've got anything that falls in that definition, in your own words, and please people, try to give as far as possible, try to give the def uh, definition in your own words, then we would give you two marks for that. So sort toch alsjeblieft dat je weet wat globali globalisering is. Dan die tweede ding wat ook in die vraag stel uh, gevra is, is wat is die voordelen? What are the advantages of globalization? Right? Firstly, you must know that basically it's only mostly the first uh, world countries that 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 uh, really experience the, the advantages of globalization. Especially the multinational companies. You must know what's a multinational company. If you ever look like a, a company like Nike, they have offices right across the world. They have factories, not in America, in different parts of the world. And uh, that is what's called a multinational company. And uh, for instance, the question that they had here in the examination was, how was South Africa? How uh, was it helped actually uh, uh, by means of uh, the, the Soccer World Cup? How, how were we globalized because of the Soccer World Cup? Think of the tourism, that, the money that streamed into the country. So that was a very important, different teams, different people that, that has come to, to, to South Africa and, 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 and really put the South Africans, uh, our country, right up there uh, when the World Cup was there. But then in Nadilam, the Nadilam, now the, 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 the disadvantages mostly in third world countries. And when you look at disadvantages, there's one word that really, that, that, that sums up most of the disadvantages of globalization, and this is this word, exploitation. The third world countries are exploited by the first world countries, uitbuiting. Now what happens? Now as jy hier die vraag hier gelees het, so jy gesien het, dat ons hier in die, in die, in die vraag stel, Het hulle so ietsie gewees van, 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 van een ou wat bijvoorbeeld sokkerballen maak, maar die sokkerballen uh, word nie in, 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 sal ons nou maar sê, Amerika gemaakt nie, maar dit word in een ontwikkelende land gedoen. Now what happens? You must know this, 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 the sweatshops, die hongerfabrieken, soos hulle dit ook noem, sweatshops. Now what happens in a sweatshop? Is that a company like, say, Nike for instance, can have a factory in Malaysia or wherever in the world, and what happens is that they get people to work them for very, very long hours. And they pay them very, very low salaries. And even child labor is also used to make the soccer balls or to make a rugby jersey or to make uh, the, the, the uh, tackies that you wear. And here the people are completely And this is the biggest, finally, nadeel van globalisering. So when you answer a question of globalization, keep all these things in mind. Remember that all these things that I've mentioned to you here, all of them answer, these are actually the four questions that I had been asked 
in your examination. So, asjeblief mense, kyk toch dat jylle hierdie vraag in die examen uh, rakende globalisering kan, kan uiteindelik beantwoord.